All right, everyone, Maharib is here, and I was very excited for Natlon, and finally we got the trailer. I have some information to share regarding all the characters we saw in this trailer. And then we will talk about players' complaints and compliments, as well as other things that I come to know with the passage of time. So don't forget to subscribe and join my Discord. And with all that said, let's get started. Her name is Mualani. How did I know? Genshin has already told us, so don't worry about that. She will be a Hydro Catalyst, and most likely will be a 4-star in my opinion, but everyone is saying she will be a 5-star. But no one wants another 5-star Hydro character. Give us some 4-star Hydro characters already. She should not be a 5-star, and should be free because I have no primos and I want her. Her design is beautiful. Though we have already seen her in-game model, but the other characters we are going to see, I would also like to know how they will look in-game, because this is a very detailed animation. In-game models will obviously look a lot different than the characters we are seeing here. So keep this in mind before getting too excited. I heard she will also be able to create source water droplets, and will be a self-sustain unit. Like Nouvellet or Arlequino or Chlorant. But I doubt she will be any stronger. But will of course be fun to play. Attention please! Kachino will now release the ball to promote the upcoming tournament! The tournament is basically a battle between Pyro Archon and others to get the throne. We will talk about it later someday. This cute little bunny kid is known as Kachina. She will be a 4-star Geo Polearm character. We have already seen her elemental skill, and it is rumored that she will be given out for free. Just like we got Kali at the start of Sumeru, then Lynette at the start of Fontaine. But I hope we get Mulani instead of Kachina. I would love to have her instead, for shark surfing. Anyways. Great. <laughs> and go! Too far! She is Geo so she has enhanced physical strength. Understandable. <laughs> this boy, named Kinich, is the Dendro version of Gaming, Sethos, and Haizu. The only difference is that he is a 5-star. He uses Claymore and it is said that he will be a burning DPS, designed to be used with the upcoming character, Emily. <laughs> this pixelized Gigachad bro is named as Ku Hulajav, the Almighty Dragon Lord. Self-proclaimed, of course. But I think he will be one of those useful versions of Paimon we meet in the story. Like the device Nahida gave us to help us fight Skara, or Lelooper, or Sorish. Or it can be a side race, like we have Melazines in Fontaine and Arenara in Sumeru. Or it could just be a creation of Kinich's abilities like Oz and Fischl. But if Hoyoverse gave this self-proclaimed Dragon Lord so much attention, it means it will have a significant role in the story. Otherwise, there was no point in introducing it, right? Or am I just overthinking it? And then I got the new love of my life. The must pull. The beautiful. The gorgeous. The lovely. The one I am saving all my wishes for. The one I must get no matter the cost. My love at first sight. The Sundere you must never annoy. The one and only, Salali. She will be a cryo 5-star catalyst according to some suspicious sources. It is said that she will be a superconduct buffer. Just like we have Emily for burning, Shavru's for overload, or Nilo for bloom. Now I am obviously pulling for her there is no doubt about it, but it would be a little weird to see a Catalyst character buffing physical damage. But at the same time it would be a smart move, because then you will need some other character to deal physical damage. Some other character. You know what I mean, right? Layla of course. And any excuse I can get to use Layla on field, I am going to take it. I just hope she will have a little bit of healing in her kit, so I can use both her and Layla together even when I do co-op with my friends. So who is going to be like me and build her with elemental mastery to use her as a melt DPS if she turned out to be a catalyst? No matter what her weapon type or kit will be, I will end up making a use of that, no problem. She will be mine for sure. Okay, enough simping, let's continue with the trailer. Here, leave me alone! She is what Deya was supposed to be. But whenever I think about Deya, I only think about racism. There's nothing else to talk about when Deya is the topic of discussion. I just hope she is not as underwhelming. Or maybe we finally get a Geo standard banner character. Looking at the design, I highly doubt that. But then again, no one ever thought Deya would be in standard banner by looking at her design. So maybe there's a possibility. By the way, her name is Xylan. She is said to be a Geo sword user. Looks to me like an on-field DPS. I hope she is meant to be played outside of Mono Geo teams. 
I should probably re-release the Curse of Mono Geo video. That video was underrated. It will give you a general idea of why I don't like Mono Geo that much. But if we get a dedicated on field DPS who uses crystallized shards to deal the most amount of damage, that would easily be a broken character. But keep that in mind that she is tan, so keep your expectations low. Plus as I said again, I need to see their in-game models before getting too excited. Also, some leaks are suggesting that she will be a support, a very strong one at that, and not a DPS, but her design gives me an on-field DPS vibes. Let's see what happens. Okay hear me out, why did Ian San only got 2 frames from the entire trailer? Like bro, wasn't she the one we saw as the first character when Natlon was teased? Give her some respect me Hoyo. Her name is Ian San. According to the sources, she is a 4-star Pyro Claymore, but I highly doubt that she will be a Claymore. Claymores tend to reduce their size when equipped to small characters. That's why Sayu and Dory are also not as good with their weapon types. I think polearms are the best weapon types for small characters. The only small-sized polearm characters we know are Yao Yao and Xiao, or if Kachina ends up being a polearm, but I think Ian San should not be a Claymore. Maybe a Pyro Bow or Polearm, or Sword or Catalyst. Now this is the most unexpected character design I saw in the entirety of Natlon. And the fact that she is cryo but her design doesn't match the element makes it all the more better. Her name is Chaska and she will be a 5-star cryo bow user. Keep that in mind that their weapon types that I am telling right now are highly subject to change, but their names and elements are pretty much confirmed. I do hope she is not some sort of off-field support. She needs to be a DPS if Hoyo is interested in making some cash. But if she were to be a cryo on field DPS, she will most likely use normal attacks like Yoimiya, because we already have a charged attack focused cryo bow DPS. But at the same time, maybe she would be a physical DPS meant to be used with Salali? Who knows? Then we could maybe be able to use Fischl's signature weapon on her. Not that I have this weapon, but it do matches with the color scheme not gonna lie. She is gorgeous though, but I tend to get attracted to cutie patooties more than these kinds of mature women. But I will try to summon her if I get some spare primo gems which is unlikely because it's not Honkai Star Rail or Wuthering Waves, it's Genshin Impact. But design-wise, this is peak character design. Absolutely beautiful. I would like to see their in-game models. I might create a fun little video when I see their models. Now we are going to enter in the city we saw in the teaser before. This is the Pyro Archon in the flesh in the arena, Mavuka. First of all, her design is nothing like we used to see which is a good thing because this design was very bad, but the design we are seeing right now is also not even good. She looks like a Pyro Bayonetta and looks nothing like the children of Murata or Murata herself. Plus, why would an Archon be tan? That's against the rules no matter what nation you belong to or what culture you try to represent. And someone in the comments section will still try to justify her being white, just like they did their best to try to justify Naida being white. My video on racism will reveal everything so make sure to unsubscribe before that. You would not want to hear offensive truths do you? Anyways, just like every other Archon, except Zhongli, her design is also not even remotely good as it should be. Looks more like a biker gang member than a pyro Archon. Everyone will pull for her because of her kit and abilities, because of course she is the reason why Hoyo didn't give Deya a good kit. Just like players only pull for Nahida because of her sheer power. No one cares, and no one likes her design. If anyone in the comments section says they like her design, just lock them in the sanctuary of Suristana. Her design sucks, get over it. But I gotta say, her back and her hairstyle looks absolutely fantastic. Like a walking medieval torchlight. Trust me guys this is a compliment. But other than her face and hair, her entire design is the worst of all Natlon characters in my opinion. This battle is for winners only! The champion will take all. Then we get the flashback of what we already saw, just to make the trailer a little longer. Here we have Capitano and Ororon. Ororon looks like he would be the right-hand man of Capitano, or a Natlanian guide. He is said to be a 5-star and MO bow character. Come to think of it, we have 9 limited 5 stars from Liyue, 9 limited 5 stars from Inazuma, and 9 limited 5 stars from Fontaine, but only 5 limited 5 stars from Sumeru, and 4 limited 5 stars from Mondstadt. That's not fair. 
Even the total amount of Sumeru and Mondstadt 5 stars are less than limited 5 stars of other regions. Talk about unfairness. From Mondstadt I hope we get Varka and Alice, but if you guys know about any Sumeru 5 star characters going on some crazy adventure, do let me know. But I highly doubt that, unless we include second of the Fetwi Harbinger, the Doctor. And if we exclude Wanderer because he is not actually from Sumeru, then Sumeru has the least amount of limited 5 stars we know in the game. Makes sense though because Middle East. And in the case of Natlon, we have already seen 7 5 star characters, and we haven't even seen Zabalanqui. It is said that he is an immortal, not a regular person, probably a dragon sovereign, or some sort of similar race. In the case of Capitano, suspicious information is stating that he might not be playable since he doesn't match any of Teyvat's elements. It is also said that he is one of the descendants, or an alien from another world. I am not expert in lore so I might be wrong, but the odds of him being playable are very less, at least in Natlon. Maybe Hoyoverse is saving him for Sneznaya. We might be able to know about his element and abilities once we see a battle between him and the Pyro Archon. This is exhilarating get excited. And that was what I meant when I said, she looks like a walking medieval torchlight, and it's a compliment. She looks so sick from the back, and since most of the time we see a character from the back anyways, so that's enough of a reason to pull for her. And her crazy overpowered kid of course. As we already saw, she can transform into a phoenix with her elemental skill. Time to burn again! Even the tiniest of sparks will not go unnoticed. Well, this video was about all the characters of Natlon. I will talk more about these characters in part 2 of this video where we will discuss new systems and unique mechanics tied to these characters, and some more details in this trailer. There are a lot of things I have to talk about, like these characters' association with different tribes, some complaints community is going to have in the future, a little bit of drama about racism and cultural representation and character designs to spice things up, and you know one video is not enough to give all the information out. That's a lot of content. Until next time, stay tuned and make sure to subscribe, and join my Discord if you have some more information to share with me. I would love to add what I learned to my future videos. Peace. Hi, I am Muharib's wife, Layla. My husband would be very happy if you leave a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to join our Discord server and he will see you in the comments section. Peace.